less than 48 hours after the torrid battle at Morwell, South Melbourne faced the inform Newcastle. After Hasler's thunderbolt, Utsianis unleashed a wicked free kick. Once again, Gibson did enough. The pattern was set as South fired from all angles. Newcastle played a waiting game that relied heavily on Gibson's resolute goalkeeping. The breakers' hit-and-run tactics took shape when Polak rattled the crossbar. But for most of the time, South tried various ways to pierce the Newcastle defence. A Waratifi was another to be denied by Gibson. Trimboli ended the first half with a long-range rocket, without the desired result. Inside 10 minutes of the second half, Trimboli's perceptive pass caught Newcastle flat-footed. Waratifi's 12th goal of the season came as a mighty relief, but soon the tired legs of the league leaders allowed Newcastle back into the picture. After several near misses, the influential Polak crossed towards Brown, whose vital touch paved the way for the eager Spink. It was a fitting reward for the hard-working forward, and the breakers almost got more than a draw. Polak showed his class with a darting run and shot that gave South Melbourne an awful fright. 